Have you ever stopped to ponder the true extent of our civilization's progress? As we take this journey together, let's consider a unique perspective. Instead of focusing solely on technological advancements, let's measure progress by our understanding and ability to harness energy. Imagine a civilization that could capture and use the power of an entire planet. Then, visualize one that could harness the energy of a whole star, or even the power of an entire galaxy. These ideas may seem like science fiction but they form the basis of a fascinating concept known as the Kardashev scale, developed by Russian astrophysicist Nikolai Kardashev in the mid-20th century. The Kardashev scale measures a civilization's advancement by the amount of energy they can use. It's not just about having the latest gadgets or the most advanced AI, it's about how well we understand the universe and our place within it. This brings us to a fascinating concept known as the Kardashev scale. So, what exactly is this Kardashev scale? Glad you asked. The Kardashev scale is a method of measuring a civilization's level of technological advancement based on the amount of energy they can utilize. This concept was proposed by the Russian astrophysicist Nikolai Kardashev in the mid-20th century. The scale consists of three main types of civilizations. A Type 1 civilization, also known as a planetary civilization, can use and control all of the energy available on its home planet. Think about controlling weather, earthquakes, volcanoes, and all other natural phenomena. Next up we have the Type 2 civilization, or a stellar civilization. This type can harness the entire energy of its own star. Imagine being able to manipulate a star. And last but not least, a Type 3 civilization, or a galactic civilization, can control energy on the scale of its entire galaxy. Interestingly enough, we, as the human race, haven't made it to Type 1 yet. Now you might be wondering, where do we stand on this scale? As it turns out, we're not even on the first rung. We're a Type 0 civilization still learning to fully harness the energy resources of our own planet. That's right, despite our technological advances we're yet to fully utilize the energy available to us on Earth. This is not just about power for our homes and machines. It's about understanding the very fabric of our existence and our place in the cosmos. It's about how we interact with our environment, how we manage resources, how we deal with challenges and conflicts. Currently we're like toddlers in the grand scheme of the universe, taking our first steps in understanding the complex energy systems that exist. Our status on the Kardashev scale is a stark reminder of how much we have yet to learn, to grow, and to evolve. Becoming a Type 1 civilization is a milestone we have yet to achieve. What will it take for us to ascend to a Type 1 civilization? The answer isn't simple, but we can start by considering four key steps. Global cooperation, technological advancements, sustainable energy practices, and a more profound understanding of our universe. The first step, global cooperation, requires us to set aside our differences and work together towards a common goal. This unity is essential to share resources, knowledge, and technologies efficiently. Next, we need to push the boundaries of our technological abilities. The better our technology, the more efficiently we can harness our planet's energy. Sustainable energy practices come in third. By transitioning to renewable and clean energy sources, we can reduce our dependence on finite resources and move closer to becoming a Type 1 civilization. Lastly, a deeper understanding of our universe will help us navigate the complexities of this transition and foresee potential challenges. The journey to becoming a Type 1 civilization is long, but the payoff could be astronomical. Imagine a world with greater energy efficiency, the potential for space exploration, and the assured survival of our species. It's a future worth striving for.